This is my model of a catapult, made entirely from 3D printed parts using PLA material. What's special about my model is that it uses leaf springs instead of torsion springs, with four of them in total. To load the catapult, simply push the throwing arm down and lock it with the slider. Then, place the projectile in and your catapult is ready to fire. To launch, just push the slider back. In this video, I will show you what's unique about the kinematics and how well the catapult shoots. Enjoy! Let's kick things off with a classic torsion spring concept that's often used in 3D printed catapults. We actually only have one component, which is the throwing arm that has a torsion spring in the middle. To compare the functionality of the different catapult spring concepts, I've built this simple scale that visualizes how much force is applied to the throwing arm. You can see that the required force increases gradually until it reaches its maximum at the end position. As a result, the holding force is very high, and when I let it go, it snaps back to the starting position. Now let's check out the kinematics I am using in my catapult. We have the throwing arm, the leaf spring, and the connecting arms. If I pull the scale back, you can see that the force goes up at first, just like we saw in the torsion spring model. But here's the interesting part. As I keep moving the scale, the force keeps dropping until there's almost no force left at the end. This leads us to the advantages of this kinematic design. First, when the catapult is drawn, the trigger requires very little force to hold it, making it easy to release with minimal effort. Additionally, the catapult will launch farther if the maximum force is applied not at the start, but at an angle of about 45 degrees. Enough talk. Let's go outside and do some testing. Not bad. 10 meters or 33 feet with this little catapult. But I want to shoot further. So... I scaled up the model by 210%, pushing it to the limit of what a standard 3D printer can handle. Let's see how they compare. The small catapult still consistently launches the projectile to 10 meters, but the large catapult hits an impressive 25 meters. With the range and weight of the printed projectiles, we can calculate the energy of the catapults. Assuming perfect conditions, the small catapult achieves an energy of 0.32 joules, while the large catapult reaches an impressive 5.37 joules. So it is almost 17 times stronger. All right, let's build your own catapult. First, you gotta download the 3D print files. For the printing settings, make sure to use the strength profiles since they add more wall loops. Now, let's start printing. Let's move on to the assembly. First, we need to separate the pins. I wanted to print them individually, but they kept detaching from the print bed during printing. Next, take the connection arms and push the pins into the hole on the curved side. Make sure they stick out evenly on both sides. Grab the throwing arm and locate the angled edge. Insert the pivot plate, ensuring that the notch on the plate aligns with it. Next, insert the connection arms. Remember, the arm in the lower hole should be pointing upwards. Attach the end piece by snapping it securely into place. Repeat the process for the throwing arm on the other side, but mirror the assembly. Grab the back plate and insert the slider. Make sure it moves freely. Take a side frame with the line facing outward and snap the back plate into place. Now insert the front plate and do the same, securing it properly. Grab the middle piece and click the stopper into place. Then insert the leaf springs. Next, snap the assembled middle section into the side frame. Now insert the assembled throwing arm, making sure it points toward the locking mechanism. 
Finally, take the other side plate and snap it in. Insert the remaining pins to complete the assembly. Now your catapult is done and you're ready to do some testing. Just remember to be responsible. Don't aim at people or animals and make sure to wear safety glasses. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, please consider subscribing. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.